I'm gonna install the Let's go from the other side. This is how you check the oil level and the magnets, one go here and one go here, and then we're gonna assemble the new gasket, everything clean and ready to go. Clean it as much as I can. Check the clearances over here. It all look good, all the discs look good. I'm gonna install the piston, spring and piston that goes here and then install the valve body. Let's go here. I'm gonna have to hold it while installing the valve body so I'm not gonna be able to record this part but this should go here and also we need to make sure all the cable free so they don't get underneath the valve body. This one get torqued to 62 inch pound. This is the fill plug. It's going to the transmission and it will latch. And then this part go on top of it and this over here has locking mechanism. To take it apart, you need a small screwdriver or any small pin will come in and press this one inside so it will open. And then small screwdriver to open these latches and this will come out and this hose over here will fit perfectly 3 8 inch it will fit perfectly in the plug the level that uh, the oil will drain if there is extra it's made of plastic it will take I believe the five millimeter yes five millimeter Allen wrench we need to make sure we tie it all the way down but don't torque it too much or it will strip or break if you stay loose it will not allow the drain plug to completely seat just gonna reuse the old drain block I'm not gonna tie it because we still have to check the level just gonna touch it up so it won't leak it's already being clean the magnets in place
did the adaptation, channel zero, zero, set everything to factory. Then I did 60, channel 60, the throttle body adaptation. Then 63, the kick down adaptation. And then I went to the transmission and did uh, the adaptation. It's one step. And then we drove it for about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. It's excellent. Actually started good. There was just a few uh, shifts that they were minor, hard, but maybe two or three times it did that. After that, it's been smooth and running real good. The transmission engage good, reverse good. went to second and third gear and it's running fine. Okay, the good news, we put the original transmission back together. I put the valve body uh, that came out the vehicle back in the vehicle and we did the adaptation and the vehicle ride real good, uh, very smooth shifting between gears. Uh, we use this oil or this transmission fluid. I also bought a VCDS uh, programmer to be able to do the adaptation and reset the faults. When the uh, vehicle was uh, lifted, uh, I had to uh, put it in gear to make sure the fluid get inside the transmission so we make sure we have the proper level of fluid and that will generate uh, ABS fault and uh, a lot of other faults. Uh, you can do the adaptation if you have volt faults in the transmission or engine or the ABS. So this has to be reset and the adaptation has to be done. I paid, I believe, it, how much? $26? I think $26 per uh, container. But I uh, look online after uh, I bought this, and I think uh, Walmart and other places, they sell it for $18, so. And it did good. The vehicle performed real good. So the cost was $3 for the drill bit, and uh, a filter, a new filter, I replaced the filter, even though it's only a metal uh, filter, so it could be just cleaned and put back together, but you know, $22, and so really the whole thing didn't cost 90 bucks to rebuild. A plus what I have to pay for this valve body, but if you watch this video, I already did the experiment, you don't have to go through this and buy another one. When the transmission assembled back together, the manual suggests the transmission need to reach 35 to 45 Celsius. It's the summer right now here in Texas, and right when the vehicle starts, it's about 40 Celsius, so the temperature already there. But I ran the transmission, uh, put it through shift, hold the brake, and then I let it spin. Like I said, I want to make sure the oil reach everywhere. It took, after I cleaned the valve body and the transmission, it really took about, uh, Six and a half. This is what left out of one, gal one gallon, and this is empty. And let the vehicle run for a little bit. The temperature was about 42, 43. I checked it with BCDS, then I opened the plug and made sure the extra oil came out when it started just uh, streaming a little bit. I closed the plug, I lowered the vehicle, and we went did the uh, driving or the learning process. If you don't have the tool, you may want to get you a heat gauge or a heat meter. Make sure the transmission don't exceed 45 Celsius so you don't uh, lose a lot of fluid. And then when you close it in the transmission cold, you're not going to have the right amount of fluid. Make sure you use the right transmission fluid. Not any transmission fluid will work. Uh, you could damage your transmission if you use the wrong fluid or it could slip or uh, 
it could have problem. Even if you don't have any issue with your transmission and you replace the fluid, if you don't use the proper fluid, it could lead to a problem. I use this fluid only because it say the part number that matches what on the vehicle manual. Even the dealer, the dealer, the part number for this transmission, the, the fluid part number is this one, the G-052-025-82. And this is a brand name. I'm um, not associated with them or anything, but it's it's cheap and it's work good. This is a thousand mile transmission fluid change after I did the valve body rebuild. The oil coming out to clean, so everything good. The vehicle driving good, so. I'll consider it a job done. It has been over a year since I rebuilt the Beatles valve body. I rebuilt the valve body in July of 2018 and now it's December 2019. The car is driven so far about 8,000 miles since the valve body was rebuilt and the car is still running fine and the transmission shift okay. I finally have a chance to upload the tutorial and after I reviewed the footage, I'm going to give my final thoughts about this project and to give the dimension of the tool if someone is interested. As you already know, I found this valve body on eBay. It was listed as 09G valve body for 2009 Jetta. I contacted the seller about it. He informed me back then this valve body had the same issue with the hard shift when the transmission warmed up and he ended up replacing the complete transmission. And he pulled the valve body of the original transmission and he sold it to me. I paid $60 shipped and I thought to practice on it first before I work on the Beetle valve body and also to have a spare part in case I need some. The eBay valve body came with all the connectors as the seller just cut them of the harnesses. It also came with the accumulator piston and its spring and it came with the shifter piston. After I received this eBay valve body I drained the beetle transmission fluid and dropped the oil pan to see if the two valve bodies look the same and they did. I removed the solenoid and made tool to extract and recrimp the solenoids and luckily all the linear solenoid they have the same dimensions as far as the case or the coil itself. However, they do vary when it comes to the snout or the valve itself that go inside the valve body. With all honesty, the valve body job was very easy. You just have to be very careful. You also need to make sure everything is super clean. There is two options when it comes to fill the transmission with the transmission fluid. One is it through the fill block, which is located on the side, the front side of the transmission. The other through the drain block in the oil pan. The first method, I remove the fill block from the transmission. The fill block on the Beetle or on the 09G is located in the front side near the radiator. It was very easy to remove, especially the valve body was out of the way. I just pressed on the tab of the fill block from inside of the transmission and pressed it out and I pulled it out with the other hand. After I removed the fill block cover, I inserted one end of the hose inside the fill block and the other end I inserted the funnel. I lowered it by the throttle body area and inserted the fill block back on the transmission. After I have the proper fluid level, I remove the hose and cover the fill block with its original cover. The second option is to fill the transmission through the drain block. You need to get you a bolt the thread of it matches the thread of the drain block. Cut the head off and drill it all the way. 
in the center and then install the level tube install this temporary bolt or fill bolt if you want to call it that and then get a manual pump from the auto store they cheap and available they directional though you have to insert this side where the arrow point into the transmission oil pan and the other end need to go to the transmission fluid container bump the fluid until you empty the container let the engine and transmission get up to temperature then pull this tube out and the extra transmission fluid will drain out and then you could install the drain block I also flush the transmission after uh, we put about a thousand mile on the vehicle I was able to remove the fill block cover it was hard to get to I used a small allen wrench and I opened that red cover and pulled the top off and then reinserted uh, the hose and the funnel and filled it back this way it wasn't necessary the fluid came out clean but my thought was uh, when I originally rebuilt the valve body there was some old fluid left in the cooler and the torque converter so I want to flush as much as I can it's probably a necessary step but I done it so I want to share that with you the connectors they have this so they will fit correctly and they also have this lock mechanism to keep them in place so they won't come loose by themselves. To remove them, you need a small screwdriver that fit inside this. And you just pry it off like that. All the linear solenoid, they have two pins. These two other solenoids, they only have one pin. They are extracted from the side. These, the latch mechanism is on the side. So when you pry them off, you have to pry them this way. Just be easy, be gentle with it so you don't break the plastic of the solenoid.